Well, uh, that's okay. It's um, I, I'm allowed to film you. Right. Well, yeah, you got to. I'm just saying. Uh, How can I help you? Why have you turned up and stood one foot away from me? What's up? I'm How can I help you? I'm going to speak to you about what you're doing today. Uh, but I don't wish to speak to you. I've got nothing to say to you. You're an officer of the police. I've got nothing to say to you. Right. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Right, this conversation. Right. Actually, in fact, do you have something to say to me? Uh, well, I can say if you'd let me talk. I'll, I'll say okay. yeah. Uh, I've come here today because of the protest and the fact that you're filming so close to a cash and transit. Who's um, who's protesting? Uh, you are. With a... Are you are you defining what I'm doing? Are you legally defining? what I'm actually doing here. To us. Well, that's what's been reported to you, but yeah. someone could report that I'm a 12-tentacled, green-eyed monster. Does it make it the truth? Does it make it the truth? No. I'm just one man speaking freely in open air! So, do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. I'm okay, so why, why have you come here? You're a man dressed in a black paramilitary uniform, and your job is to stand up for those guys. You guys should arrest the bankers. You guys should arrest the people that kill all those brown people in Arab countries. But no! You work for the organizations. You work for the big companies. The gun, the big. Yeah. So look, yeah, look. You have, look. You are a bad symbol being here. A bad symbol. I don't need your facilitation. I don't need to be governed. I'm a free human being. Right. You don't need to be here. I have nothing to do with you or to say to you. And look, there's people murdering and robbing right now in the banks, the government, and you're standing here right next to one guy with a megaphone. How does that make you, me feel? How does that make me feel? You are a traitor as well to your own people, standing up for the big organizations. Do you know how many people die in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Syria? In fact, how many British soldiers are killed each week in Afghanistan? British soldiers that you uphold the people that send them there. And that's what I have to say to you. Right, okay. Like I say, I've come here to see what your intentions were today. You obviously made it clear that you're here to talk to people. And uh, when I say you're not protest, my apologies. And to talk as a free man as you can. And as a, you know, if there's any issues, I'll help facilitate that. Right. But in the meantime, I'll leave you to it. But obviously, if there's any problems, then I'll have to come back and obtain your details and speak to you further. Look, look okay. you have no right to just leave me to it. You have no right to say you're going to come back and ask for my details. I'm problems? me, he's him, he's him, yeah. you're you. That's our details. You don't need no details. What do you need? Details from me for standing here. You don't need to. Look, you're just threatening me, asking me for my. We're going to put it on the government database. Threatening you. You listen to me. I say, is there any further problems? Further problems? What problems have there been? What problems? No what do you mean twisting words? You said further problems. I said what problems have there been for you to say further problems? Is there any matter where I need to obtain your details and we'll be back to obtain it? Look, look, I would never give you my details. I am a free human being under God and you work for the big corporations and I would never, unless I kill a rape or beat or hurt someone under the common law, alarm, no is it? If I cause harm, threat, or injury to someone, or theft, then we've got an issue. Yeah, but dude, or any criminal. But no, but if I'm just standing here, I don't need your facilitation, and I would rather you please left me alone because I am just a free human being under the universe, and you're here, dressed like you're about to invade Poland. <laughs> you are, oh, man. That's public policy. You can get arrested for that. Really, really? Who's alarmed, harassed, or distressed? I'm not. This is a public uniform, isn't it? It's not, it's not my choice. I'm told to wear this. I'm no, no, you, you, put, you, you choose to go to that job every single day. Of course it's your choice. Right. You're a free human being like I am. You choose your, your actions every single yeah, day, yeah, yeah. as I do. Uh, you're right, I choose to come to work in this matter. Okay, and I choose to stand here and speak my mind. I've got no problem with All right, okay. I'll come speak to you tell you what, tell you what, because you've been very friendly. You have been, you have been, this gentleman has been very friendly, the policeman here. Why don't you stick around and then you can enjoy and agree and enjoy my message just like all these people. Stay for a minute. Right. So right. you're not you're not don't stand so close to me. Anyway, anyway to, show, to show that there's no bad feelings, could you please film me giving the policeman a hug? No, don't give me Woo! Go on, give him a big hug. Woo! Thanks, man. Cheers. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's broken now. What's your name, bro? Charlie. Charlie, man. Thanks, man. Oh! We better call backup. Uh oh, there's a man with a megaphone. He's got a beard. He's probably Al Qaeda. Look at him. He's tall. He's dark. He's got a hairy back. He's some sort of like crazed psychedelic ape. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, look, oh, oh, there's a nice symbol. The police, which are meant to be public servants, are standing up for the big banks. Now, how can one guy, one guy talking on the megaphone require two police officers, probably earning about 30 grand a year? Who knows how much this is costing? You go. Look, look, the banks already took all the taxpayers' money. You don't have to waste more taxpayers' money. <laughs> Come on, guys.
You haven't even got matching helmets. Come on. <laughs> Come on. The banks don't need the police protection. Police protection. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're on to me. Can you see the guy with the big microphone? I'm here right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I've just had a drink of water, so I may continue my ill-defined lack of linear structure rant against the corporate goddamn show of police and government and banks and warfare and military companies and pharmaceutical companies. We are truly living in the brave new world order. Ladies and gentlemen, and here's a guy, he, he's, he's delivering all the fake money, all that fake currency. Don't worry, they're going to bail out the banks again. All that fake money. But it's okay, the, the, the policemen are going, hmm, why is this guy filming the delivery of money? No, I'm not filming the delivery of money, there just happens to be a guy delivering money whilst I'm doing my thing. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, this is no different than China or North Korea or any one of those nice countries that we claim to have poor human rights because I come out here in public property and straight away, within four minutes, I have two uniformed officers of the police coming here to, and this is what he told me, this is exactly what he told me, he's going to facilitate my protest. He's going to make it easier for me to protest. He's going to give me yeah, donuts. Now that's an American police joke. These guys don't need donuts. Look how skinny and fit they are. Anyway. Why does the government own the country? I'm no fucking slave. You don't have to. I'm not a slave. I'm not the We're all slaves. We're all slaves. No one is a slave. You're all slaves. No one is a slave. Well, you're the one that came up to me. And then you can fucking talk. But at the moment, you're just talking ballers. Okay, well, enjoy my free speech then. Well, he's actually protecting me from you. Between you and him, you can't have a slap me. He will lock you up and take you away. You are a slave. You're a slave. Okay, everyone just calm down, calm down. Give me a big hug, bro. Give me a hug, bro. This guy is on it. This guy is on it, mate. Thank you. What everyone says. This guy is on it. What is on the scale? I got the justice that they deserve. What about Iran? Iran, mate. Thank you. What justice? Go on, show me justice, mate. Iran, 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 Afghanistan. Go on, Libya. What? What justice, mate? What justice? Anyway, I, I, um, I, I hate to say this, but I would like to say a thank you to the two policemen for, for actually facilitating my protest. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, because I think, I think, um, every, every gathering has a climax, I'd like to say, I'm gonna, hold on a sec. Yeah? Give it two minutes, I'll appreciate it pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give it two minutes, five minutes, so it's cool down. Ladies and gentlemen, because we live in a voluntary country, I'd like to first of all thank the two policemen for being cool, and secondly, I gotta go and grab a coffee or something, so please look up The Love Police. That is my YouTube channel. You might even appear on it because I'm filming right now. Way. So please remember The Love Police. And our job is to lower fear and raise love and uh, hug police officers. That's what we do. Thanks, guys.